Hi guys and ladies and juniors and everyone out, all squashers and racquetballers of course. Um, just wanted hopefully to say hello and hope you're all well out there and keeping well. Um, but if you've got a garden or a space or a front drive that you can get away with obviously respect to the distancing and everything um, and they're not going out for me, I'll show you some ideas uh, that I always do when I'm on court but obviously we can't, the club's shut but we'll get through this. Um, anyway so I wanted to show you some transfer or weight ideas that I've got plenty of obviously before you say it um, but something that's um, I wish I'd have known before I was got bad knees because obviously it can take, make you very efficient add power and get you to clear the tee all in the same the same way so um, I've got a couple of little drills I can show you which are a bit of fun as well so um, basically made a makeshift front wall up here um, I'm just trying to um, a lot of players I see go into the ball and just go sideways and get no no power they just use the arm and we do this a lot for people that I've done coaching with hopefully you understand that so what I'm trying to um, emphasize and this drill set up is to actually come in, get your racket up as you're coming in but always with the balls in front of you you want to transfer your weight to it so I want to work on that weight transfer right through the ball and pulling away so if you show that again so your weight transfers through the ball pull away hopefully you can hear the whip on the string that's the only thing I was known for hitting the ball not moving but when I was younger this would make me more efficient if I'd have done this okay and you can do the same on the backhand is the same principle so the racket's prepped and you transfer your weight through the ball okay so wherever you're going nice bit of prep racket back transfer the weight so this is a little drill a bit of a fun drill you can do it say 25 times if you'll be allowed if the dog or the kids will let you um, this is our makeshift little garden obviously we've got a big garden because we're little squash club owners so um, I thought I'd just try and work out what I can this line is always a good guide so basically I'm going to show you when you hit the forehand a lot of people will just do this yeah if they were going to do forehand and backhand okay so I see a lot of that so what you could do in your home garden hopefully practice that um, make sure you got some hydration of course that's very important all right so transfer your weight whack it back through yeah nearly got the washing line through okay and make sure each shot you're coming right through the ball okay and you hear the whip okay you can hear it the whip and through and like I say the, the emphasis on that is if I was clearing to the T to the T and make that transfer of weight has come through and pulled me back to the T same with this on this side transfer through back to the T if I show you with the front wall one more time so there's the uh, forehand so I'd be rack it up into the ball transfer the weight pull it back to the middle so actually even a big guy like me can clear it quite well same here rack it back through and look at the racket head it takes me to the T always imagine there's a weight on the end of your racket which takes you back to the T all right that's just a little tip for now we've got a couple more I think of and all the coaching team hopefully will throw some at you but hope you're keeping well squashers racquetballers keep safe and we'll be back open soon playing some squash love you all bye